This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. You're an osteopath yeah. from England, yeah. and you had initially um, kind of looked at the work that I'm doing here for Palomoclonus yes. and made the decision to bring your daughter yes. across the, uh, the, the pond. pond yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And what's been your overall experience here at the at the at the center and with the treatment that we've done? Um, I think you're very efficient and well equipped. Um, you seem to get on with it. There's no faffing about. You know what you're doing. You've got reasons for doing what you do, and uh, you do the test first, uh, and then you do the treatment, and then you do the test afterwards, and you, you see what difference it's made. And in the light of the test findings, you alter the treatment as required, and decide on what neurological exercises to give and they seem to work um, on the spot when you do them and measure again and then in between when she does the when Joanna my daughter does the exercises in between treatments uh, there's, you measure again you can you can see a difference and you measure eye movements and balance various other parameters as well as the, the clicking mm -hmm. incidence and intensity mm -hmm. and uh, it looks like there's a way forward, mm -hmm. whereas uh, we we did think she'd be sort of stuck with it for life, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know what started it. She's had a, a few minor bumps on the head, but nothing that knocked her out or caused any any other problems at all. What's going on with the clicking? It stopped. <laughs> it did a lot of clicks as. You, uh, as you inflated it, as everything was shifting, but it feels a lot more open. And, and like with one of the other ones, I feel like my teeth have shifted and there's always been a gap this side. Mm -hmm. And this side's always been pressed and I never sort of, in one of the earlier treatments, I never had even realised that there was any pressure here until there was an absence of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's not doing it. It's weird. <laughs> first time my ears didn't click whilst I was eating in I can't remember how long so my ears didn't click over breakfast with the jaw movement they just did nothing which was really nice. <laughs> Great. Great. So. Um, in general how are they doing? Oh, um, How's it doing? Still the odd bit of, sort of periodic clicking here and there but it's it's not uncomfortable anymore you know the strength of the clicks aren't bad enough to bother me. Feels, okay. I'm much more open uh -huh. and comfortable. Um, sort of getting used to sort of walking differently as well. Uh -huh. Feels easier to sort of walk upright I would say. They were yeah. still clicking but I've done more exercises since then okay. and they just didn't occur at breakfast so I think the exercises are definitely helping. Okay, good. Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com She's my 13th palatal monoclonus patient, and you know, from what I can see in the literature, it's more palatal monoclonus patients than you know any other single physician we've seen, because it's such a rare disease. And when you look out at the alternatives that these patients have, they've got Botox and then they've got medication, neither of which is actually working on the the the, the areas that are. That are problematic. Yeah, the um, <clears throat> problem with the Botox, as far as we were concerned, is that it only lasts about 10 years because it's uh, the, the botulinum toxin is a protein. Eventually, the eventually, the body wakes up to it, mm -hmm. produces antibodies, and wipes it out as it goes in. So, you know, it might get us a 31, and then she's still got the rest of her life with clicking ears. Mm -hmm. And also, while she's relatively young, the tissues are plastic, we thought that's the time to go for it. You know, once you get beyond 24, things begin to harden up a bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we 
thought it was definitely worth trying. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Good.